Hi, everybody. It's Jeffrey. It's Ripe Color. And we continue with Tarot Tuesdays. Let me find the card. So the card, ah, it's right on top. Yay. Is the Ten of Wands. Yay. <laughs> I should have prepared. Because, <laughs> you know, a lot of times you're looking for a card, it's always at the bottom. You have the Ten of Wands. All right. So <clears throat> it's a 10. 10 is completion. 10 is completion. So uh, it's the completion of a creative project. You know, he's um, the farmer gathering um, his his crop at the end of the season. So pat yourself on the back. You know? <laughs> the other thing I was thinking about before I did the video is uh, numbers are super important when you're reading Duro. So if you have like a couple of tens in a reading, it's like something has definitely come to an end. And then the the suits will tell you uh, what has come to an end. And plus, you could also include the Wheel of Fortune, which is a 10, which is completion. So, you know, it's really like you've gathered your crops, you know, give yourself a pat on the back. Your thing is complete. Like, that's really what the energy of the card is. Now, the other interpretation that a lot of other Tarot have, and I, I subscribe to, is drop the burden. Because sometimes, you know, I think, I mean, I have this tendency, I'm sure, uh, on certain areas, other people have this tendency of, let's say I have people coming over and I clean the house and, you know, everything is clean and it's complete. And it's like, oh, no, I need to do this. I need to do that. It's like, no, 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 you're done. You're done. So like, you know, relish the fact that you're complete with a project, right? Relish that and then drop it and then drop it. Um, okay, your old ways are done. I wrote things down because I don't want to forget anything. Look at the little card. Um, you had a good return. It's harvest time. Completion, it's a full cycle finishing, um, reaping, and, res and resolution. And now it's time to move on to another challenge. And now it's time to move on to another. Oh, I really want to complete this book. I really want to complete this painting. I really wanted to complete this, I don't know, trip, this experience, and I'm done. It it's really that simple. It's a very simple little card, actually, in a lot of ways. Now, um, I read with Danny Shea once, and he, um, his interpretation, which I found really interesting, and it's interesting to like watch other readers and like take on their stuff if it makes sense to you. It has to like make sense to you, right? He can't see what's in front of him. He's so busy with the thing, like it's done. And, you know, he's he's kind of looking at it. He's kind of like, surrounded by it which is fine but you know sometimes you really accomplish something and it's like boy this feels good you know and so take a moment to relish that right because we're going to move forward right because the the cycle begins again and starting next week i'm going to get into the court cards you know the wand court cards and then i'll decide on another uh, element um the other thing i wanted to say is that nancy and i are going to be doing um uh the tarot class again sometime in september we're not sure it's probably going to be after labor day i don't even know what labor day is this year you know what day it falls on but uh that's the deal so it's completion completion of a project so you know reap it reap it in it's like i set out to do something went through the one two three four five blah blah blah, blah, blah and i've come to that part of it all right Blessings to you. Thanks for tuning in and uh, see you soon. Next week is the page of wands. Who's quite an exciting character. He has a great outfit. All right. Blessing. Oh, if you want a reading, if you want a healing, et cetera, I'm available. All right. See you soon. Bye.